Deviled eggs are one of summer's favorite picnic and potluck foods. And they're so tasty, they frequently make an appearance at Thanksgiving as well. They also, surprisingly, have quite an ancient lineage, as they trace their origins back to a dish of spiced boiled eggs that was popular back in the days of the Roman Empire. The name actually doesn't refer to any occult practices. The term deviled dates back to the late 18th century, and simply referred to a dish that was highly spiced or seasoned. While deviled eggs as we know them today may or may not be particularly spicy, they are deliciously versatile and can be dressed up in a number of different ways. While there are numerous recipes for deviled eggs with special ingredients, ranging from horseradish to Greek yogurt to avocado, there's one ingredient which works its magic in stealthier ways. Not only does it add a delightfully rich and creamy texture, but it also corrects the main flaw with deviled eggs as a party food. No matter how pretty they look on the platter at first, the filling does tend to get a bit weepy after a while. So what is that secret ingredient that can exercise your deviled egg demons and cheer up their weepiness? Why, it's our old friend butter! This deviled egg hack is endorsed by none other than super chef Julia Child, and also by domestic diva Martha Stewart. Both of these queens of cuisine use butter in their deviled eggs, so you know it's the right move if you want to take this holiday favorite to the next level. But before you embrace this decadent food hack, you need to know the basics. Where to begin? If you're in need of a new deviled egg recipe, you can certainly use Julia Child's original one, which is a great excuse to break out that jar of pickle lily you've surely got lurking at the back of a cabinet, right? Queen Julia adds this relish of chopped pickled vegetables and spices, which is typically more at home on a Chicago-style hot dog than a deviled egg, but hey, it sounds delicious to us. And butter will only make it better. If you're more of a traditionalist, the Martha-endorsed recipe will do nicely, especially if you've got an ample supply of fresh-grown tarragon or chervil. Southern chef Virginia Willis is the author of Martha's go-to deviled eggs recipe, which calls for two tablespoons of unsalted butter in addition to the usual mayo and Dijon mustard. Should you already have your own go-to deviled egg recipe, though, you can still improve upon its near perfection with the addition of a little butter. The result? Your deviled egg filling will have a smoother, almost velvety texture, and it will also hold its shape longer than a filling made of mashed yolks and mayo alone. Taste of Home agrees with Willis that two tablespoons of butter per dozen eggs is the way to go. And yes, it has to be real butter, no margarine or any other similar can't-believe-it's-not substitute. Flavor aside, no vegetable oil spread is going to have the necessary texture to help the filling hold up. What's more, you really do need to let the butter soften before mixing it into the egg yolks, mayonnaise, and seasonings. Once your butter is soft but not melted, combine all the filling ingredients in a food processor until the mixture is light and creamy. You then spoon, or pipe if you want to get all fancy, the filling into the egg whites. Garnish your eggs with paprika, parsley, pepper, pimentos, pickles, or perhaps even things that don't start with the letter P. Someone devil egged my car. Well, that is paprika. Deviled eggs are great at any time of year, of course. A fast approaching Easter holiday is not required for you to make and enjoy deviled eggs. You'll definitely want to whip up a batch on November 2nd, though, for your new favorite holiday. May we be the first to wish you a happy National Deviled Egg Day! Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite snacks are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.